What's up guys, Alec on Kiri here. And welcome to vlog number 93. Today is another one of those mishmash vlogs that I've been throwing together lately. I've got a full 5x5 here on the squat that I did with 355 pounds, along with my final set that I did with 350 pounds from the previous week, and some of the loaded carries that I did after that. Additionally, I also threw in a rep PR on weighted dips, and I'm also going to show you guys a little snippet from the start of my bicep rehab. So let's kick it off with the squats here. This session was with 355 pounds, and the goal was just to hit an easy 5x5 five five with it, which I managed to do. I also threw in a conservative rep hour on the final set, where I stopped at 8 reps. You'll see when I get to it that I kind of thought about going up to 10 for just a second there, but then I just decided to rack it. It wasn't that the reps were hard, but ultimately, that set just kind of typifies how I feel about low bar squatting in general. No matter how many quality sub-maximal reps I put in, it just doesn't feel good to me. It never has, and you can kind of see it on my face every time I rack the bar. I just look exasperated, and that's because I just can't find the proper way to execute the lift. Even though all the reps are easy, they're just not right. And to be perfectly honest, this training cycle was really the first time in my entire lifting career that I truly gave the true low bar squat, not a hybrid style or a mid bar squat, but a true low bar squat, an earnest effort. And it was after this training session that I decided to end my experiment with it and go back to the high bar squat that I've used for pretty much my entire lifting career for my back squat work. And there were multiple reasons for that. I feel like I experienced flashes of what makes the low bar squat good during this training block. I never had any difficult reps, although things never got that heavy, but still. And I could literally feel the increase in technical efficiency. I could literally feel how much smaller the sticking point was compared to my normal squat pattern. But ultimately, Every rep just felt like garbage anyway. It doesn't feel right on my hips, and it takes me too long to really get moving to where I can execute freely throughout the movement. And so I found that this lack of crisp execution was really just starting to kill my motivation. And I actually became very apathetic about the back squat in general. I didn't look forward to my training sessions at all, which is unusual for me. I'm generally excited to go put in some heavy squats and I still was with the zombie squats but with the low bar squats I was starting to look for excuses to not train so that's no good and now I've switched things back to the high bar squat so currently I'm zombie squatting once a week and high bar squatting once a week and I'm using a similar set and rep pattern for both sessions where I'm just ramping up to a heavy triple and then kind of playing things by ear from there in relative terms I'm going pretty much well heavier on the zombie squat than on the high bar squat but I did actually triple 415 pounds on the high bar squat in my most recent session, which is the heaviest I've gone in recent history. And I left probably 10 or 15 pounds in the tank there, but you guys will see that set coming up in a few weeks. Additionally, I've also zombie squatted 370 pounds for a PR triple last week, and I just hit 375 for a double yesterday. So that lift is still coming along pretty nicely. I still haven't gone for 405 again just yet, but I think that the time for that may be approaching. So let's keep our fingers crossed there. So anyway, I'm still working the weighted dip twice a week at the moment. I think I mentioned that, that I recently added in some extra work at the end of my Friday volume session. So after I do my 5x10 on the Larson press, I'm knocking out three sets of 8 to 10 reps on the dip as well, just to get in some extra volume there in addition to the heavy dips that I'm doing on Wednesdays. And it seems like that's starting to pay off already, because I've had a string of solid sessions the last few weeks on the heavy days. I hit a PR triple with a 170 pounds recently then I hit a PR single with 190 pounds which was really solid and I also hit a pretty easy set of five reps with 155 pounds which matches my best set of five from last year when I was really focusing on the dip for a while there 
So I'm having fun with this right now. Some of the reps in this set were a smidge higher than I would have liked, but overall, this was a solid set and a pretty decent rep number for me with this much weight. So hopefully, I'm able to keep adding to it. And then lastly, here's just a little snippet from my bicep rehab. I mentioned a few weeks ago that I had developed pretty bad tendonitis in my right bicep. So these last few weeks, I've been hammering that rehab. I dropped the heavy chin-ups and the heavy strip curls for the time being, and two to three times a week, I'm doing a super controlled five by five on the weighted chin-up. Here, I was using 45 pounds. I think this was the first week of the rehab, but since then, I've worked my way up to using 60 pounds, still moving smoothly and easily and not aggravating the tendonitis at all, really. So that's good. The pain is also way down just overall in general, which is another good sign. So I'm doing these five by fives during my normal upper body training sessions. And then in addition to those, I'm also doing some body weight chin-ups every single day, just one or two sets of 10 to 15 reps whenever I get the chance. I try to do one in the morning and one in the evening, super controlled reps all done from a dead stop in the bottom. I basically pull myself up at half speed and then I focus on a nice controlled eccentric. And it seems to be working really well so far. It's been three weeks, I think, since I started the rehab process. And I'm hoping that if I give it just a few more weeks, then I'll be ready to start introducing some strict curls back into the routine. I was really starting to get into those. My biceps were actually starting to get pretty damn strong. And ultimately, I'd like to strict curl my body weight. So I've got some work to do there. Anyway, that's all I got for now, guys. Please be sure to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And definitely leave me some love in the comments down below. Keep training hard, and I will catch you guys next time.